Hi, my name is Keith and I'm going to show you how to adjust the track tension on a SVL 95 Kubota. This particular machine, the track adjuster grease valve is right here in this access hole. Some Bobcats is shaped a little bit different. It's in the back side right here. Some cat uh, skid steers don't use a grease fitting at all. They actually use a threaded rod, but that's a different uh, conversation for a different day. I'm gonna make sure the end of your grease gun is clean so we're not uh, introducing any gravel or dirt into the track adjuster system. This particular machine takes a fair amount of grease to adjust the track. That's why I like to use an electric one on this machine. When you're pumping grease into this grease valve, there's a cylinder inside of here that's pushing the end out. That cylinder pushes against your front idler bogey here. It pushes it out, which makes the triangle between these three bigger and tightens the track up. Sometimes when you adjust a track on uh, any skid steer in general, this one's a Kubota SVL95, or when you replace the track and you're trying to tension it up, when you put your grease gun fitting on the end of your grease gun, onto the grease nipple, which is the track adjuster grease valve. As the track starts tightening up, it takes more pressure. Sometimes you can't get any grease into the valve and it just leaks out in between the grease valve and your grease gun. This could mean two things. One, the end of your grease gun is worn out and it's not sealing on your grease nipple. Or two, the grease nipple has had some damage done to it, whether it be from corrosion and rust or damage caused by foreign debris or a tool being on it and it can't seal and it's easier for the grease to come out the side than go into the track adjuster and adjust the track. In that case, you can either change the end of your grease gun or you have to replace the grease nipple in your track adjuster grease valve. As you can see, the track is no more slack down on the bottom. The top doesn't have very much sag anymore. What I like to do now is get the operator to start the machine and if you travel this track backwards or forwards, let it kind of work itself in for a couple of seconds. We can double check our tension and then we can finish this off. Now, as you can see, we ran it forwards, backwards. It's looking pretty stiff here. Every manufacturer has a different spec on how tight to make the track. Please consult your manufacturer or your OEM supplier Sometimes it says in the operator's manual how tight these tracks are supposed to be and the measurement on how much sag there is supposed to be top or bottom. Now that we're done adjusting the tracks, we put this cover plate back on, stop any debris, any dirt or moisture getting into the track adjuster area. And that is how you adjust a track on a Kubota SVL95 that will work on all other manufacturers as well. If you want to learn how to replace a track, please click the link on the screen.